we're going to mix up our epoxy as normal with the A and B, but this time I'm going to use uh, some gray pigment paste. I took some of my white that I was using and I added some black. And if you remember, I said the black is really tenacious. A little dab will do you. Well, I used a little more than I want. I didn't want the gray quite this dark, so I got to run down to System 3 and get some more uh, white to add to this to lighten it up a little bit for the next coat. But this first coat, wet out coat, or a wee filling coat I should say, not the wet out. You never want to mix pigment paste with the wet out uh, layer because uh, you can't tell when not when the um, glasses it heated the wood and, and the, whether you have any bubbles or not. But the little bit of pigment paste on the second time around on the first wee fill uh, will let you know where all the bad spots were. Uh, I didn't notice that until about, you know, the first time when the, uh, I was working on my first boat and I painted the hull or put some primer on and all of a sudden all the junks jumped out that I could not see in just the, in the uh, wetted out ply or glass with uh, two coats of uh, weave fill on top of it. It just it didn't show up. So I add a little bit of gray pigment paste. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now off camera and then we'll meet back on the stern you again. Know, we'll got the, you can see the grayness of it. And when you're mixing epoxy, remember to scrape the sides, swirl around, scrape the sides, scrape the stick, scrape the bottom, you get a good mix. You don't have any spots in there that uh, haven't. I've, this is about a almost two minute stir now. So, let's go and start putting some of this stuff on. mix so start getting it out of the jar quickly and start kicking in too quickly. more in the evening now than the uh, 
trigger dual nodes. up some more. Now we get to play with the bow. This area gets to be fun because of all the angles and the steeper sides and things tend to some more of this on the next coat. Uh, you've seen enough of this. <laughs> 